Now let's start with the post installation configuration of MacTech. So go to search and write here Mac and you will see this MacTech console. In other versions of Windows you might see this thing is MacTech admin. So just start this one and this screen will appear. So here you can check for the updates. It is really very really important to do this thing. Check for updates and then we download the required things. In the second we are having the settings a random package repository on the internet. So we are not going to change anything here. The updates can be directly uh, click from here. And this one is the important thing which we call the packages. So if you use a package and it is not automatically installed, then you can write the name of the package here and you can install that package. Let me search a package in order to show you how to install a given package. For example, a package name is HyperRep hyperrep and as I search then you can see that hyperrep over here it is already installed on this date so it means we don't need to install this thing we will have to look for another let's say file contents another package this one is also installed so let's see we select any of these uh, from here so packages let's say i am going to install a package which is acronym package here now i see that it is available but it is not installed here so i will right click on this and click install package or i can do here means you click here and it will install this is for the uninstall so right click here and install package so it will say one package will be installed and zero will be removed okay and it has downloaded the package and it has installed the package so when this turn to close we will have to close this and now when this will update you see we have installed this package so you can install the packages manually as well while the option that we have selected during the installation to install the packages on the fly then they will install the packages automatically as well then we are having the diagnose we have nothing to change here the cleanup this is for the uninstallation of the MacTech. so these were the steps uh, to do is a post installation in MacTech console or MacTech admin. So we close this and now we go to our Tech Studio. I haven't selected any shortcut for the Mac installation because it is not that important. While the compiler, the Tech Studio, I have selected here a shortcut. You can write here Tech Studio. And you can go directly from here or from your shortcut so let's go there and we are having the text studio interface here and here is the interface of text studio we are having file edit and this this is the area in which we will have to compile our document and this is the area on which when we will build our document from here in this area our pdf will appear so this is one of the document that i have opened so it is showing me this thing similarly we are having this area which is called the messages or log or preview this thing in this one all the messages related to our files will be communicated to us so we can get rid of this by clicking here so it will disappear we can get it back here then this option is used to see 
the different sections or chapters or whatever is involved in the structure of our document they will be shown here so for uh, the writing facilitation we can get rid of these or we can have these now on this bar we are having the new document open save close do's and undo's copy cut paste the bell document which we will use frequently searching uh, view of this thing and then we can do the searching in our documents by this menu okay and here there are lots of you can say options available the searching can be from find and replace and we can do the control if and control all directly similarly we are having here on this bar just like ms word making something bold face uh, italic or underline justification we can do here and these are the dollar modes for the make mode the subscript superscript division and square root etc similarly on this side we are having the different symbols if i click here these are the bookmarks and these are the different symbols that are available here just like ms word and here we can select all in order to show all of them so we can directly write from here or we can use the command if we remember that thing and similarly different types of brackets which are involved we can use and many more are written over here so this way we can we are having a very rich interface we can get rid of this we can get rid of this similarly this one for our writing purposes and on this side we are having some quick access menu with the things which are used a lot so the brackets here and here are used a lot and here we can select different parts like chapter section subsection the labels we can labeling is the very strong uh, command in uh, latic and it is having a benefit over other software like ms word in which we can't have the labeling similarly we can select the font sizes as well from here and this menu uh, means this is just to add row add column or delete these things over here we are having the view if i click this one it will go to the external viewer as i click this pdf will be opened in adobe acrobat so i can do this thing here but i will have to keep in mind that whenever i will build my document this file is supposed to be closed like i try means this is the document that i have written and as i build it then you will see it will give me an error that i can't write on the file because it is open somewhere else so i'll have to close this and then build this document and it will be built normally okay so here i can magnify as i go like this and just click then i will see the magnified text similarly i can change the view from here different views are available and from here i can also change this view so these are available there is some grammar checking this is the english us dictionary the language that i have selected and it will do some automatic grammar checking as well so this is all the interface and i hope you would have understood the interface so in the next video we will start with the very first document uh, of latic i will give in the description the links for downloading the files so you do download install them as per instruction and welcome to the latic world thank you